What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. On July 22nd, DJ Drama puts out his Quality Street Music 2 album. It's the follow-up to his 2012 album of the same name. And DJ Drama is in like this weird position in his career. Now, he's got his own label now, Generation Now, with Don Cannon. And they both have a little Uzi Vert scheme. And I believe there was someone else on the roster who... Uh, you know, hasn't really been introduced as much as the two that I just mentioned. So he's doing that. He's on tour this summer on the Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa tour. So he's still getting his money, but I think times have changed for DJ Drama. He's not hosting tapes as much, and they don't have the same impact. It's just, I think that's the evolution of where hip hop went. Like, mixtapes nowadays. At least what's classified as a mixtape is more of a free album and most most of them just don't have DJs they don't require them so DJ drama making this album I was excited because I always like DJ dramas albums and any DJ album to, for that matter especially just having these these combinations that you wouldn't normally get you know drama's been good at doing that in the past and so when the track listing surfaced I was kind of disappointed. There's only 10 songs on here. And out of the 10, we've heard uh, three of them so far. The Big Money, which is the C4 remix. So it has Rich Homie Kwan Scheme and Lil Uzi Vert. We only heard the original um, back in 2014. And I believe it was Rich Homie Kwan and I think it was Lil Uzi. So I don't know if Scheme was on. I don't believe he was. And then actually four records. We got Wishing featuring Chris Brown Scheme and, and Light Quinn. And then you have Camera. Camera is a record that originally belonged to First of FKI, the production duo. And now it's featured on this album. Um, the song has Lil Uzi Vert, Mac Miller, and Post Malone on it. And then you have Right Back, which was a DJ drama single from 2014 that had Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan. They have a video for it. And I think Jeezy's been added to it now, so that kind of gives it something new. But ultimately, I felt like... Like, the combinations are disappointing because there's not a whole lot going on, especially for the long way. It's been about four years. Like, for the most part, he's not trying anything new. There's a record with T.I. and Young Thug. That's been done. There's, um, you know, a record with Ty Dolla Sign, Trey Songs, and August Alsina. I feel like they've interchangeably worked with each other. At least uh, Ty Dolla Sign and Trey Songs. I know they have a collaboration, and I believe August Alsina and Trey have one as well. Where are the the combinations that really made you go, wow, this might be interesting? I think the most interesting record on here is the intro, which features Lil Wayne. Um, Drama had a listening session for the album, like, maybe sometime last month. And I'm not in New York, so I didn't go. I wasn't able to hear any of it. But people were talking about how the Lil Wayne feature was really good. Which, A, it, it made me excited because, you know... That proves it's a it's a verse, it's a song. It's not just him talking on the intro. And then B, I, I want to believe everybody when they say that, but I think I have I hold Wayne to a different standard than everybody else. So I don't know if the if that song's gonna be good. I don't know if any of the albums really gonna be good. I mean, the singles that we got so far are okay, um, not really too memorable in my opinion. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to listen to it. I'm sure there'll be at least one or two. I mean, there's also Freddie Gibbs, Dave East. Um, that's really it. Like, a lot of the album revolves around Scheme and Lil Uzi Vert. I mean, Lil Uzi's on two songs and his Scheme's on about, like, three or four. So the album is kind of revolving around that. And I don't know. I just expect more out of a DJ drama album. Um, so I guess we'll see on July 22nd if it's worth listening to if it's worth picking up um i'll definitely have a review for it um for now you can check out the track listing in the description section and then tell me what you think about it like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already share the video follow me on twitter at sermons domain and as always thank you for your time i appreciate you for watching and until next time peace